I do want to segue uh, to Mississippi State, Arkansas, because the Big Ten West was strong in this game. 7-3 was the final. That kind of final is reserved for Minnesota and Iowa. But this was the SEC West, not the Big Ten West. 7-3 Mississippi State gets the win. And, Paul, I'm going to ask this without sounding disrespectful. How much trouble is Sam Pittman in? He has to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, and, and Matt, I say that reluctantly. Uh, if you know Sam Pittman, you, you genuinely love this guy. Absolutely. Uh, some coaches uh, you like, you respect. I mean, he he's he's the guy you want next door. He's, he would do anything for you. But, uh, there, there, you know, this is his fourth season. He had, the, he had the transition year. He had the really good year. Last year was a mess. This year is a disaster. And, you know, Hunter Yerchek went out on a limb. He's the athletic director, very respected. Went on a limb last week and said, "Okay, we're home now. Uh, we've been, you know, we've been on the road for however many weeks, and that was as must a win as I've ever seen a program. Have. I mean, you lose to the program that that essentially has an interim coach uh, that comes in for Mike Leach that has done nothing uh, with a backup quarterback uh, who transferred from Vanderbilt." And that's all you can do uh, w- with a quarterback as talented, uh, and that you you have to start to blame that on coaching. So yeah, I mean, I'm not. I know I've given you a long answer because it, it, it upsets me to answer it, but I'm going to. Uh, it, it's hard to imagine what Sam Pittman has left to 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 argue uh, in relation to his future. Yeah, he was one of those feel good coaching stories, and everyone has them. The coach that comes home, he wasn't a sexy name. He wasn't a big name. He was just full of substance, offensive line guy. You're thinking, all right, let's bring Pittman back. And the fans loved it at the time because they're like, he's oh. someone who understands Arkansas football. And at first it was like, hey, great, this 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 is working. I mean, anything after Chad Morris was going to work. Um, and now I just – you're right. And I, and I think Arkansas is one of those jobs because I, I, I find that the resources there, that if you had someone that could make that thing pop, it would. But at the end of the day, I, I just – Seven three, a combined ten points in an SEC game. That's something I never thought I would see. That was yeah, Arkansas is a job. You, you win eight games. Fans are saying, "Good, we we any chance we could ever win nine? I mean, that's that's the program. It, it's not your normal uh, SEC uh, power. And and you, you lose that game on the road, and, and you take flag. You lose that game at home, and you lose the fan base. Give me something. Take